Much of what was introduced by the House was unverified second or th third hand reporting cribbed from a biased news media, including stories based on anonymous sources whose identities aren't even known to them, never mind my client. They manufactured and doctored evidence, so much so that they had to withdraw it. We only had, we had the evidence after we started the trial. They went on for two days. So in the evening, I was able to go back and take a really close look at the stuff. Myself and Mr. Castor and Ms. Bateman and Mr. Brennan, we all worked hard and looked at the evidence, uh, four volumes of books and little tiny print. And we started, we, I mean, literally had, I don't know, 12, 14 hours to really look at the evidence before we had to go on. And just in that short time of looking at the evidence, we saw them fabricating Twitter accounts. We saw the masked man sitting at his desk with the New York Times there. And when we looked closely, we found that the date was wrong, the check had been added. They fabricated evidence. They made it up. They never addressed that in their closing, as though it were acceptable, as though it were all right, as though that's the way it should be done here in the Senate of the United States of America. Fraud, flat out fraud. Where I come from in the courts that I practice in, there are very harsh repercussions for what they pulled in this trial.